so um, those of you who were, who were here last year, it was, wasn't as big a crowd last year. <laughs> this is good. Uh, those of you who were here last year um, might remember the uh, experience I had of my good friend and colleague, uh, Tim Satton, uh, presenting me with uh, an award for leadership as I uh, was preparing to uh, conclude my tenure as board chair. Now, what he also did that year was he said, there's not one of these, there are five of them. And he tasked me with the uh, problem of each year uh, finding someone to recognize students, faculty, staff, or trustees whose leadership contributed to the strength and value of our community. Uh, I will say that is a daunting challenge. So I've selected a recipient for this year. I'll show you this one, in case you didn't remember. So, here it is. So I've selected a recipient for this year. And uh, I was trying to figure out how I could make some comments about this person in a way that wouldn't give it away until the very end, you know, some, some, some surprise and suspense. And there is no way, because as soon as I would start talking about her, you would instantly recognize her. So, uh, Kandi Shoman, if you would... now as Dean of International Education, a position she earned in 2015 following the National Search. Kandi views her work as facilitating cultural competence, helping students and scholars from around the world to learn with one another, and developing our collective understanding of global engagement. She is an emotionally intelligent and attuned leader. She models a leadership style that empowers her staff to take initiative, Faculty know her, I think the applause show this, as an effective partner who encourages imagination and provides the resources to execute programs and experiences for our students. Let me give you a few examples. Kadi is perpetually, pre perpetually present, helping our students navigate complicated experiences. When Parliament shut down earlier this March, she exhibited remarkable grace and humanity in her swift action connect students, connect with students, ensure their safety, provide answers and contacts. She has intuition and a keen responsibility that guides her toward goals and the needs of her students and staff. When the U.S. government issued travel restrictions in January, Kandi ensured a constructive frame and response amid the confusion and alarm experienced by many of our students. She helped to inform the senior team to author a substantive and constructive campus response and to allay fears of our international students. Connie's well of energy and persistence emanates from her joy in what she does and her genuine zeal for global learning. Juniata's Global Village, which not, would not have happened had she not coalesced faculty and student voices to ensure an outcome built on consensus for learning goals. The success of that is evident in the enthusiasm students now have for the enterprise. They have embraced the space and it strengthens a culture, a campus culture at Juniata that values engagement and community. And finally, <clears throat> her work is why Juniata is increasingly known for our commitment to international education. She worked as assistant dean on the project that led to Juniata winning the Senator Paul Simon Award for comprehensive internationalism in 2012. She is undoubtedly one of the reasons the Princeton Review ranked Juniata 12 in their top 20 colleges for study abroad. 
And just yesterday, a new survey listed Juniata as 11th in the nation in great value colleges with study abroad programs. Uh, Eric Jensen, we're only one behind Duke, just by the way. <laughs> Kati will be the first to say she doesn't do it all by herself. We know that. We know, Kati, that you understand leadership means empowering others. Their empowerment comes from the substantial vision that you hone and strengthen every day. And so we honor not just what you do at Juniata, but the exemplary way in which you evidence your leadership.